This sick monster, he touched me. Yep, he touched me. Been done, stole my virginity. I ran to my dad for protection, but instead, he blamed me. I was only eight years old. I finally built up courage to tell my mom, and she sheltered me from him by kicking him out of our home when I was 12 years old. It's too late. My mind was already at war. To my past lovers, I was considered damaged goods. How can anyone expect me to love them when I don't even love me? A feminist with no dignity. Flashbacks of my dad's words linger in my head. Don't tell anybody what happened in this house. If he touches you and you don't like it, scream. If you like it, tell me. Fuck taboo. How does this protect who I am, my cultural values, who I want to become? It doesn't. I had a lot of resentment towards my dad. How could you allow this to happen to me? Dad, I screamed, but you were nowhere to be found. I'm big, you're small, I'm right and you're wrong and there's nothing you can do about it. Is that right? At the age of 23, I cried out to my father, Lord God, I have been without you for too long. I surrender to you, I need you. I feel you, Father. Forgive me, Father. I forgive you, sick monster. And Dad, I forgive you too. At 27 years old, I am my mother's daughter. I am more than depression and mental slavery. My dignity, I own that. My heart, I got that. I will not allow a sick monster to have my power. Because God, yeah. My father, the true definition of love, him up above, he heals. And he, he who touched me, he, he made me free. <laughs>